e atoa ma nipa dada se onye adwuma e che se this our body it was made for a purpose and it was made for movement movement is very very important that's why some doctors are saying that your two legs are your two doctors you need to consult them if you consult them most of the diseases and sicknesses that are worrying us would be done away with and so this evening we want to look at that and glue to that god nya me ma ye nan bi enu no e chese se se etumi nante bebre ya nante pen bebre a e yade a edi nya nyankopon a moni padue yi a ma fa akotena ana se be jina fa akon nanso areho sam ni ne se e wiase mu hwehwe mu abede di se the underlying causes of these sicknesses and diseases are eh how we are seeing in ah ah yeah from almost a non-communicable disease in your wa and say yeah now in few being chanko being channel a mu kesia pa ajna edidia so which is on a healthy diet and then we also have smoking and physical inactivity sang crop for we and kuwa a contributed a to kukram nyari a air cost so any diabetes mojam rosuo any a city yari any nasifwa akabe brie san yama we ya air high you know the fuckers you know a free yeah i'm from what in your team you're in to me and to let you know and no and the man or a banner sir into the root causes of all ncds our non-communicable disease a year san yama we are yaka senior who know ever feeding so near war Five by five non-communicable diseases. And yemen no mua. E timi ma yenya non-communicable diseases mu o hao kesi eno. Sen ya mabu boso achira wano. Sen ya eno mu tawa. Anase. E duyani ya wudye na enye. Afe yin suso. Sen u no mu ensa akoho. E wo kwa imbi suwa. E bedi ni peduyani nya na physical inactivity ni air pollution. Sen wo sa inframa. Wo hume inframa ase yena. E niti. E nipa. E nsu. E duwe be wune. E mun sun biya. E ye because of. Sa non communicable disease ye nyarewa en san ye mfi obi nche nko obi nche no na bra onipa pe se obedudu no ho na wayi ne ho afri niam anka ye emu na afi wakọ nia enye mu te se ne nia abate se video games ahodo mobile phone games ahodo ene nia aka social media aba no e ya de a edi ye nya e wa kwa bebere so kane no na nka ye wo fufuo e wo wadru mu nti nia ogina so a wo wo no e ma na pomoden nia wote ase a wo dane dane ne nsa no nsoso no etumi bua no ba se se ye se no enye ma ye ti se se de ye ma ye ne se ye nko fufu machine na ye de ye bia ne na kogumu se be ye a e be ma ye mmere bebere ene ye wo fufu punch magic punch so wo ho aye ti wo fie wo mfa nko fufu machine na wa wa ye because we ne enye kane no na nka ye si nia ma ekoto e sori Oko hata na wusi na wu dane wu huko sensu wu si sensu ni adeno. Enka neni nina ye physical activity. Ae maa pumude mpa bate ne ye si ye mpe no. Eni ti ye dru ni ya ye friend ise. Washing machines. Ae yama robot iso wa mu enye juma ne maa eno mu si ni yama ne maa. E yade pa. Yenka se yade bone. Ne nunga babe yi activity ne free wano. Because we have replaced those things with activity. Then we need to make time. For exercise, robotic laundry is maybe your home work. And one machine, one be senior man, we are about to so come and come and now sign up. Bo now pack it at the amount of one for one sacra and come and in the yeah, yeah, my men why you chew up or to you one Sunday crown one air banning in a day a bra air my pumono at net in it. Oh, yeah, activity. I'm a boy, you pay your number, Mojay, dear Frisani. But unfortunately, yes, say, yeah, the magic punch is in a blender, and yeah, the other night to me, a boy. But in the midst of all this, it's a bit young kid. Benya bre amaye ho. Now so nini nemo ni yenya bre. And inti ya di nyama we ya ba aye pa aye boy ya ma amenu ni enu ya manum. Now so abe yi ni ananke ya mwa abe boy ya nefri ho. And kwada abo ampe na wo huri kusro no. E involve you omo every muscle. Eh woni pedu ya nemo no. This these kinds of games are nanka ya wo ya inkrasi ya wo ya inkro mwa ho do eni inkra kesi mo no. And nini nefri ho. And inti e de uh, or how can see an every and the idea replace you know, a physical inactivity? And this is the main reason why we need to make conscious effort to be active, to engage in an exercise program that will be so helpful to us. And in the her exercise, I have a lot of people flexibility. I have a lot of people who have a lot of people Uni pedi ya kwa ano, etu mi emu etu mi aye mrene ebe tu mi ako na ebe bwe ni pedi ano amana improve e wose stiffness embem. And then we have the aerobic exercise. Ebe bwa wama woye exercise wa bonte no be train from a bebre ako umu na etu mi abwe ni pedi ano e wose strength. So me ya pumu ateni ateni ya ebe mama huadeni na mi ni pedi ano etu mi anya huadeni pa abwa me. 
Na ye bi sasa ye exercise. What time would be the ideal for exercise? Physical activity there any time of the day e ye the best. E na some activity is better than no activity at all. And to sorry be active in the course of the day. We ye bi bi e ye nan so en ka the right time for exercise e better net ne yempo mu no e ye anopa. Ah ya sorry e. So what sorry sir sa abre no ka to we see ni ade ni bebere e ba ye no. Eh bosu agugu so ama na ba fam. And in the environment in Mubebre, I want to say, when you are exercising, so what you exercise, sir? A command of Bokosro, and Mam from Mubebre, Raum, and to be a while so, may me exercise, metanetin, me for me, me did ye ye, and I could cram yare ye free hain. Diabetes, yana yare, we are abani free hain, a free say. Bra ye exercise, no, nam from Manua ye, Triko ye Mubebre, no, and ye em wayen. And in Tina, ma, ye to me about Benyan Yarewa, I would be no. And in Tishan, so I will host my own young coupon, a wound, Kwahome, a guinea pemu, and will nipper, a bayer or cratias, if one is a home in my young Framanoa, and why ye nam Framanoa, a here ye in tears, so we exercise. So was so, so one so, we yet here, and now we all bolo, Sanya Utebian, you still need exercise. And Casamedia, we have Sanya Mijina, we are, ah, may some in Cas Radiabia and Nimimus, I didn't mean here exercise. You need it because. The body's composition, so when you pay Yanwa, send your young couple, I yeno, about sixty one per cent. Or how much you pay your Siabaco, a oxygen, and then you pay Yano, a here pa. Ain't you say Yan was our quano so dear? Then now be a bit me and your oxygen, when you pay Yanum, a yes, sir, watching from Marco Mubebre. The bra bet me a boa watching from Marco Mubebre, a ye bra, why we are active. We are so much active, and answer we are exercise, we are not here. And now, to America, and now we are gardening. We are a full more German now. We are gardening more German now. Now, a wow, I'm a Nipediano, a big coin, I'm a Kumano, a train from a baby, a dear Kunipedian. What being for big, I will say each hemoglobin molecule picks up four molecules of oxygen, one on each ion in the in the lungs, shortly after air has been inhaled. The oxygen is then transported through our arteries to muscle tissue where it is to be used. In oxidizing glucose. Ediania wedia ko muno se betimia ye juma ma was se ono and kwam wan enya wa dea frimu ye dia. En ye na we hear oxygen a yem from a papa ya ye ken. Nam from a papa no was ha e we mu a wo triko mu bebre no na um wa hrawa no e wo muno your lungs a peke no wa distribute ama wa tumye nya do we nya no molecules ni attach it to oxygen wa na nante afa wuntinum. The moja no a transported the come ya yahu dua e hiya na wa dream e hiya be brave ah e ye e de ma wo e nti shenun su se abrebiya obeye exercise na exercise e ye adi hiya diye e moja e ye blood e huwa mfaso diye e de ma wo kwa ebe na moja faswa eba how does the body produce and answer e e e de blood for fro eba kwa ye faswa no e ye so simple se carbohydrate. Now, with the protein, uh, any iron, any oxygen, any insufra, what to me and your moja, and I saw that to me and your moja, and now you moja, papa and so dear, and you know, he has a pomatin, a ten year, a bemu ye, that to me, a bow bone marrow, no, what to me, a produce the ye, and the circulated blood, no, a ye, carbon dioxide, ashimuma, a bra, moja, no, a train, and from money be a air common, a coa, a rawa numune pekea, and qua mesitreno, na oxygen, a woman, you know, a twaira. And to quite be in the befas we benyam from a papa no amana bem. Sem from a papa bebe mudia. And yes, we exercise na oxygen for frost sign ba. And tisa and mani pediano e dinya that the nyarewa hood will be neba. And yarewani be a timidi bano eye arteriosclerosis. Obi a one ye active, no one ye exercise no, eye in tinia e mwesi si. Na sa wut me ye exercise a bwa ma u prevente and na wusia no kwa y se sa in tinia mwesi si no ebe free ho. Because it prevents air or oxygen, say, a bit rich out the organs. So, in three numbers, this year, a man from a panel ain't me in court and come one who do a here no more. And one year when a tumor and it is a wood to me a year exercise and one a wow a year in ten years. Was this year saying that you are near wood ye, you are the kind of so and what that and a stradia door so woman in tea. It's a sea in ten num, there's a sea in ten no more. And many pediano ain't me in ya moja do do a sa commando in ya ni ye. And it's any one who if you didn't so one who was in ten numbers. Ti afe ne de eni mu e di weni mu diwa ko hypertension mu ne e di weni mu diwa ko diabetes mu e di weni mu diwa ko nyare wa hudo bebre mu amantini mu esisi sa wosha esa nse yam penye active ninti ye ni ne ko eni mu ke kakrebia na a refie yare e ba yenso but 
ya wo miaye miaye bi wo honom ankrofo nyini kwa ekyiri me pese me kyere wo mfoni bi se we ya america kansi ya wo hehe ye e de ma empanimfo a wanya mfinhye adu wo twe ekro this is a race that was designed for 80 plus years na bra wo mkoshi a ye ne hwe america hodo a sa ankrofo we ya mo ye mrewafo ene nkwakrafo a ye wo di first no no anya 92 years kwes america tenti a wo tu ye ma me na wa ka kyere no the America now what you know when young finisher will have any me in 102 years, but she is still active. On crap, ma, or to me, to me, come on, yeah, yeah, that's what I say. You must start one chassis. Oh, when you do, baby, and then no pen in any pedi alcano, and what did be any movie? That's how America will be about what when young finisher will be an anchor here now, baby. And to your mom, what day, my men say, yes, I will answer to me, can I will exercise every day. Now, you might want to know what did he now? What day he and on a boy, and to your friend, first one, two, three, now for your friend, see benefit of exercise a boy circulation and my moja eight media for sunny a lower blood pressure. Say, wouldn't you know what's this year to me? What be a beam, Emma, in ten more be a mamoja to me call Emma hypertension no a be free honor more a call a improved circulation no and so Emma command one casanso. In your beer, a quayarie, a besia no quine the amount. A lower cholesterol, a wuni pedienum, and our resting person so a bois emano echo fem. Mental health, a juni moon sway. But the catcher will say, So when you exercise, I'll be in a room, baby, no. Why will Babbage now one man now be such a now once away and wine? Send your yan an animal tie a yano, a bemano abase, a juno, a home, a betech macacra. But so about home or dance or bay exercise, exercise I'll be yano, and yam ricagi digi digi. They mum walking, eh? The best exercise. Nanti ya se wu nanti ya ako we nimno. Eh ye, eh bwa wu nipedu ya no mani nyam fasudye ni nina because eh asambu wu mozu si ni nina mani ye ne juma. Eh ni sa wu ye exercise ha, eh bwa wu. Wu ufri wu exercise ya nasi ya. Eh insha siye gidi gidi. Eh stati, sa wu stati ya wu tumrika boom na wu na wu se ni debi. That one is not the best form of exercise because it will discourage you better pains ya wo e woni pedu anti ya ma wonti me nto aso nye shaase kakra kakra na wo shaase kakra kakra wo kwa ani mu no na wo the speed ni be ka ho na wo the speed ni be ka ho na wo mana chenti se na na wo shaase a start with a be a 5 minutes wo chena for 5 we be ka ho the next day na wo kosa anti we be do baby no na ni pedu ani ni exercise na je afi wo ye exercise a ye exercise a wa wo se bwa wo it lifts depression out of your way it me ye depression free or because depression and kasanso it me ma wuntini emusisi it me ma wunya hypertension e de yare wa hodo bebre e na eba e reduce wo stress level e de mount e na fey e improve the quality of sleep and so you be a wuntumi nda year bo modern say wo be exercise na betumi aboa wo ya papa no mu a se be ya ho modern no e ko fam wo mpamu no those who are sexually weak it could be say because you don't exercise well that is why you are Going through such an experience. And it's all to me, yeah, exercise. What it does, and it says, Obari my yano, a yentinia would want a womb. Now, we exercise in a name, be a quana, my moja to me, dear Frisania womb. Now, Boadin and so am I in your moja pa, a yam from a pamoja, your oxygenated blood. Now, say, a ditching shia womusa. Now, they are corner no to me, a boo, am I wonder what Yerisha now, a yama min musia, when you are more than pa, a dia, and inti, thank you, be exercise, Enka ye nkone ye nkone no munro bi se ye pa ho den na afi ye de ye adwuma e wo anacho e wo ye mpem afi e boa e control ye weight ti so bi ane mu odro pa no e betumi aboa ma o kese no e swate ama no aba fem afi your immune system immune system we wo e ye asrafo e wo ni pedu mu e boa wo ma wutumi kote ayare no asrafo no nso tumi nya ho den na e ye ye de happy hormones bi so e wo ho Ah, your friend on endorphins. So we exercise are activate you. Emma, when it did that, I will be brave. Be be walk on Exercise in the a be ya will hold the free ho. I'm a niji ababe shane mo. And she she move for Friday. They say exercise the idea. It me boa wa kuma no manage na home. And only the only time we are to me boa a kuma no. I'm a manage na home because in tini kesi ebi wa hanom. Na we oh, yeah, exercise. I will nine to hanom. We oh, yeah, exercise no. I will piam from ano. Eh, moja anu ewo uh, untine no mwone. Ema eh, ne kosro kese. Enti ye piya ye kosro no. Ema eh, ni diye frisan ye ye sa akumano so. Ebe nya kwa ene wa jujo ne honka krebi. Eni eh, ti nya nko po ye nyansabuwa kwa ne bwa ye yi. Emi eh, ye tumi hunu se. Obo ye yi sa ye nye active. 
and tis a one you will be a activa and yare wabibri and your how neighbor we will be our diabetic and lower we insulin requirement level no a boy one so now so so we are and now we are a year be a year peculiar but what they say who be who know doctor no i recommended the right type of exercise and the amount of and sorry boom precopene and yeah because yes the exercise in t now we're in a sub and not yet dear so when you're not doing that so we're not in you know what we need not in you know but what they saw be active on sunday we need to be a corner can but what they saw do a more ever year to manage to me up wow exercise next strength in you need to be a no now fee when i want to break so when i made a manual bread yeah yeah exercise i don't have time for exercise my time is not enough do not forget that if you do not find time for exercise you will have time for illness yari ebeba and into a day no more no and can reserve a better 30 minutes to one hour fire active and you might yet not here now it will be the account here but they do a crown they do a bar in fact in fact so dear what is this is mono because i'm a car at a job boy in the end you bring to be the end of the nbc hanom that mama would you sir about what i'm a way exercise especially yeah 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 the bennis radia ah and you will you yeah you want metabolic syndrome i would want no more metabolism and unti sad you will you cram in some hour high and if you didn't swallow your friend a cactus a idea a boy you palm you know what the baby and say what the baby you juice a idea who came with you won't grass yeah and you attach what you do was in your dear now a new a new corner dinner you can see and then your friend a cactus you know and into when you have one cup you have one cup you have a cup you have a cup now, if you want to see a season and run, I can't want some children. One of them is more. I'm betting you have one who see a season because a year in ten more do me a year. Wow, so you're diabetic. And now, so we're hypertensive. So I just we a year there. Wow, wow, we have no. I can see it. Now, we did run. 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 Now where they are coming home, now the old brand kakra are coming home. No blending in in a area. So open your so better when you move near air. The kakra your natural sweet now why your friend is stevia. Now the kakra be a gum and also air plant air be a dear. Now air this is it. Now with the kakra gum so be a better when you move there. And now for walk it to a be a for so many be brave. Kakra be and this is what to me a year side juice way. Now no more no boss me back home. Kobo sumi mi enu mi ensa ube hunu hunu sunsa so se enu ani nura ube nyano eye bebre we ube tumi di ayo still na wedi afi ube tumi a blendi anu kwa sa raw na wanum tisa upa pumude mpa you must invest in it ye kanu a se greens eno eye very important then tuu kwe kaka wusi ana na jubi ano fire juma no nyami shira wanka uhu stay tuned and stay connected always be with us and we will have good things for you nyame shira so nya wo suan wo de be ye adwuma na wa shira wo ama yare e akwa e chire eye den ya de ye suan eh wo ye ne se den ya owo betumi aba yare e betumi aba nanso ye bofo no a odo ye no o so be ye hu nyina afri ho no obeboa ye ayi yare ho hawo ama ehu ni nyina afri ho ama ye fa ho die e wo jesus christ e dey mo amen Be a rainy crowd. See a boat, a sofa on your me. 
me by have mercy on me on this note i want to welcome you in a special way to freedom from fear bible lecture series the seven day adventist church in collaboration with hope channel ghana presents this bible lecture series unto you and i pray that the mercies of god will be with us our media partners are 3abn mgc social media handles radio mgc valley view radio we are live on all these media outlets I pray that the Lord's blessings will be with us. I want to thank Revelators so much for the songs they've given unto us. At this point, Lordina, the soprano, is here with us. So she read read unto us a series of songs, after which would enter into seasons of prayer. I want to welcome you in a special way. Good evening and welcome. Discouraged. Why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely? And long for him. A constant friend 
and I know He watches me. Discouraged, and why should the shadows come? Why should my heart feel lonely and long for him? home when Jesus is my portion a constant friend is he his eye is on the spell And I know he watches me. His eyes on the sparrow. And I know he watches me. I see. Because I'm happy, I sing because I'm free, His eye is on the sparrow, and I know But for your grace, 
I could not be saved. But for your grace, I would go my way. I'm forever grateful that you have been faithful to me, Lord, for your amazing grace. But for your grace, I could not be saved. But for That you have been faithful to me, Lord, for your amazing grace. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. But now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. But for your grace, I hold to me, Lord, for your amazing grace, for your amazing grace, for your Amen. Grace, we thank you, God, for your amazing grace you've rendered unto us. It's time for us to pray. Join hands together as we whisper prayer unto the Lord. Pastor Dr. Samuel Adenaman Lamy and his team are ready to lead us in prayer. As they sing, sing with them. As they pray, pray with them. And I know your burdens will turn into testimonies. May the Lord be with us and stay right here as we pray together. Good evening to you, every one of you. Good evening again. Good evening. I am sure we are all very happy to be here tonight. Tonight we are here and I want to welcome you to the Freedom from Fear prayer time. It's time to pray. Prayer is explained as the opening of your heart to God as you would to a friend. And I want to tell you, you are a friend of God. Abraham was said to be the friend of God. Why not you? Why not me? We are all friends to God. So we should be able to pray. We should be able to send our requests before him. And tonight we will give you the opportunity you will pray to yourself. And the team I have here will also be praying for you. And so we want to spend these 15 minutes to soak ourselves in prayers. The first set of prayers that we'll do has to do with your personal presentation to the Lord. Look into your life. Thank God for what you are, what he has done for you. And make some confessions about your weaknesses before the Lord. Ask him for forgiveness. He will do it for you. He said you should ask and he will do it. If you seek his face, you'll find him. If you knock, he will open unto you. So you will be talking to God about your own self. And after you've done that, present to the Lord anything that you really want him to do for you. We'll begin with a song. Number 593, in times like this, you need a savior. In times like this, you need an anchor. Be very sure that your anchor holds on to that rock of ages. Let us rise as we sing. We're singing only 
one stanza. personally talking to God, your friend, telling him, praising him, thanking him, and confessing before him, asking for the power to overcome your temptations, and asking for any other thing that you think you need from him. He will answer you. Pray. bringing your prayer to a close. Our Father, again tonight your sons and your daughters have gathered for to listen to your word. We pause to Father to open up our hearts to you, thanking you for your mercies and your grace that is abundant unto us. Each one, Lord, has opened their heart to you. Make requests to Father. No matter whatever each one has asked, we believe, O oh Lord, that you have answers to our requests and that you can do all things by your great might and power and love. To each one who has asked something tonight, please supply that need and supply it beyond what each one can think about. Bless your children because we have prayed in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our next line of prayer, we want to zoom in on our children. Children today are meeting challenges that you can never think about. Children at home, children in this community, children, children at school, they are coming across things that are really, really dangerous and swaying them, lifting them from their feet and taking them where destruction will be. Drugs. Kids are into it. Children. Addictions. Pornography. You can talk about spiritual attacks. And you can talk about waywardness. Disrespect. It's all there in the society. The devil is busy. And is zooming in on our children tonight. We want to lift up a prayer. Prayers for these children. My colleagues here are going to pray. Let us lift up our hearts as they lead us in prayer. Beginning from Adamel. Shall so we pray? Our divine Lord, our merciful Father, we are grateful unto you for your tender heartedness and kindness towards us. Children are a gift from thee. And thou hast given us these gifts to nature, to guide, and to present before you. The devil, wicked as he is, is trying to touch our children. 
as technology increases, he is also trying to use this means to draw them onto his side. So now we have children who are afflicted with addiction, pornography, waywardness. On our own, we can do nothing. But we know and believe if we present them to you, Father, everything will be possible. So this evening, we lift our hearts before you and commit our children before you. That Father, tag them. Make them like the Daniels. Make them like the Josiahs. And make them be worthy of your children. Father, we pray that this evening, you will touch every child will bless every child and deliver every child from the shackles of the devil. We thank you for an answered prayer. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Yehovah Nyankopon, Yadawa Se. Ona mutum eno mo bromu. Aye en shishaya ma yen seyen fayen hao ene yen da jun embra wenim. Na obe jeyen. Yehovah, ena seyen ka odinda. Akwen yen, yesre ama yemba. Ya maso odin aba eya ena ni ejebinum somba hwa mumba no mudi omumba aba wanim no omo jai mbo frei ena mbo fra no e de omuti apempem ena obonsam so afom no de omo eya ni omo pe enyumrei ya bompa ya srese wodi awofonfom so obetyen na efi ya sedi asese ye ye ni atete ya mbei e onyam suru kwan so no ya tumi aye and you bring Bianca Bow Piana, some more school and room, some more fear, or two for Yanko Ponya Strow, and Yan Tajin, I had the bow in himself with Yamabo. Bianco something won't go do Pierano. You are a Pedia won't add about him, said Joan Amayen. Joan Amayen. See your bones some quiet Amayen. You are a Pierano, you and Yanko Ponya say a year. So Mu Amayen. You want every yourself one on Shisha Bonnie now. And now for Bonnie Swa, what do I want to put a one? I want seven, I can't want a covia simu, and yet near my Bonnie, and yet on no one drop Bonnie Nano, as a fiowa, yes, that's a Joan Amanda. Yet I was say, so we tear and pieble. Yet I was say, so we can't say a fire how only a dadgy and brown you now be jaying. Yet I was say, so we tear and pieble. Oh, Jesus Christ, dear Monty. Amen. Oh, Yehoah. What check your polo, your polo? Many been a Yehoah will never push your here. No credit will come over Triano. Yehoah following me full, you are full. One perfect can have a bee. What be near or shank or coochyank or make a semon hay strutty. You have a bunch of the bonnet, bonsan here, dog clamor, 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 tower men, and here Patamon. One power fire, you are playing a machine. You are playing a machine. Cono by what be a team. Cone Matan can be fanny in your labon sank. I want an agenda. Well, don't you think a jam in agenda? Pon or be Kajabun Tanda. Pon a mega nibi forgy. Baba only a mecasse become a yen a ke telephone neck and net ten on yen mock a care. Nibi forgy come by me. One power fire, who are GMO will be a him by Kajene Mano. No geometry, Kajene Mano. Konamika, I'm here after Okometo, oh no, Akaji, but you are Zebot. The Bopon will be, you are playing a machine. You are playing a machine. You are playing a machine. Amen. Konobakon will be a Christo Bami. Amen. Amen. Now, friends, we are into Ghana. Nobody will tell you Ghana is passing through a very tough time. We have a very tough time within these times. Things are getting harder and harder. I was coming and listening to the news and the utilities also want to go high. Electricity, water, they want to go high. So it's not easy at all. At this moment, I want us to pause and pray for our nation and pray for all the nations that are represented by the viewers on the internet. Praying that God will give leaders of each country especially Ghana, wisdom from above to find solutions to the hardship that is going on. And I know that God will give to them power to do that if they lean on him. So we're going to ask 
for God also to give them the faith to trust him and not trust themselves but trust him by the grace of God we shall pass through safely let us pray let's bow and pray father we lift up all nations before you this evening we lift up our leaders before you Solomon required of thee knowledge and wisdom and you gave him in abundance and he was able to rule Israel father we commit these our leaders into thy care this evening father we ask that you give them wisdom times are very hard situations are getting out of hand but we know if our leaders trust in you you can deliver them so father this evening we come with one accord and we pray and ask for guidance we ask your holy spirit to pour it down onto our leaders let them know that you are the true god let them know that if they rely on you everything is possible let them come and hide under your tabernacle and father if they pray we ask that you hear them if for if not for anything because your children have asked you this evening we know you will answer answer our prayers guide our leaders guard their thoughts guard their intellect give them wisdom give them dreams direct them on how to lead these nations aright and father when all is done bless us bless us bless us like you bless israel in jesus name amen amen ya koswa ebom paye jehovah nyankopon ya sign aba wanim ebio ya how any and dajen a o ma ye hu se ya de ba wanim a obeboa ye no ebrim ya de oman ahuri na eba uche di ampo nyankopon anim titru ene ye man gana ye ho nyankopon ye dru bribia ye hia wa ho den ene otumi ni wa and he has said, Jesus Christ, he didn't say, Bra, never boy, or how Pierre, a CPR, say a boy, Payon, a buyer, or two for your copper and stores, a fatcher, never did any more kind, not training, and yet the impending foie, or main shall one say, I shall change up on your copper answer. Yes, so will say, but one point three for you and your copper and chain. I have to me a boy, a masum, yea, I ain't I a panel, a cosswa, a tina, a man, a posso, a my. And he has just said, Sir Abedra Foshia, not so bon sum as money nipper be said. Uncle Kawan home, not on to Tunyama, and Sandu dia. Yes, so Jesus Christ did him say, Send Sisha Bonina and my aim. Ye be some way over Jesus Christ did him say. A briar dear how any a dying about when you know. Ye him sa can do four more shall mind so my aim, over so on die. Over Kawan home, over Boawan, I shall won. Near one year I met to me a boy. And to Sabri, yes, so Jesus Christ did him say, Don't go on, not come on home, not and see in a ye, a briar bisa, oh Jesus Christ did him say, Ope and the Enyaho. Amen. Amen. You who are the Lord, what Bolloke or Polo, what Jeloke or Swanlo, you who are both Oplegin located in Mogomogobo here, Mogomogobose, or Peshi Jay, no Benagui. The king let you are now one woe of Jacuman Ghana, no one woe day, one pafai. Nibi am ye walla ye mammy. Naka no jim majim majim chain. It's last lie. Majim babao are he. The king let you are now one bow. No plekishi. No ba. No ba wow. Waka here in your life fame, woe day ye who are. Kaji shen a kajam of bay, a cock when I hear the other sign come here. I found the big concomer come on. She wa one bow, pony. Oh, I'm a teddy, I'm here. Now, I'm here. 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 But you know how no joke we're going to lay a crystal bar. Amen. Amen. Friends, we have come to a point. I want you to sit down as you take this prayer. It's a prayer 
about a search in your heart for peace a search in your heart for forgiveness for somebody who has offended you if you are here and you want to benefit from what pastor Randy's kids is sharing with you your heart must be clean you must take out anything that will hinder the Holy Spirit from working and giving you the benefit of the time you are spending here I'm talking about you having something against someone someone has done something against you and you are holding on to it and you want to be free from it the Lord is here if there is anywhere around that God is it is this this spot and I believe that if you will make that confession to the Lord and you will talk with him I will pray for you from here God will free your heart it could be your friend it could be your husband it could be your wife it could be your children it could be your parents no matter who it is it is human being want you to learn how to forgive Christ said in the Lord's Prayer forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us we are at that junction claim that promise and the Lord will forgive you when you go wrong too so I want you to bow your head in a moment and we said do a prayer if you are the person who has something against someone or someone has something against you and you know leave it up to the Lord and give it up don't hold on to it because you need God's presence in your heart pray I'm giving you one minute to say that prayer no big words and then my colleagues will pray for you too Let us pray, our dear Father, we thank you so much that we can spend this time before you. Hearts have been opened to you, Father, hearts that are hurting. We plead, O oh Lord, the blood of Jesus Christ to cleanse everyone, everyone who has surrendered their heart to you and wants to be free from grudges, wants to forgive somebody give the power, the strength, the Holy Spirit from above so we can forgive and be free so you can also forgive us. We're praying and pleading that our may set our hearts free as we enter into the message for today. We lift up a prayer for Pastor Randy's kids and the interpreter and the signer. All of them are in your hands. Put your words into their mouths and feed us in the name of Jesus we have prayed. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you, Pastor Dr. Samuel Adamanami and your team for allowing yourself to be used by God. We want to thank you, our sign language interpreter, Abigail, for the good work done. Tonight, we are live on Hope Channel Ghana, 3ABN Ghana, Valley View Radio, and Radio MGC. All our social media handles are active at this moment. It's a privilege for me tonight to introduce you the speaker for the 10 days of Bible lecture series in the person of Pastor Randy Skeets. He will be interpreted by Pastor Emmanuel Dixon, the president of Meridian Ghana Conference of the Seventh-day Adventist Church. And the sign language interpreter will be Ruth Bafo. We will sing, burdens are lifted at Calvary. Jesus is very near. After the theme song, the voice that you hear is the voice of Pastor Randy Skeets. Stay right here.
the power of God is manifested in the beating of the heart, in the action of the lungs, and in the living currents that circulate through the thousand different channels of the body. We are indebted to him for every moment of existence and for all the comforts of life. The powers and abilities that elevate man above the lower creation are the endowment of the creator. He loads us with his benefits. We are indebted to him for the food we eat, the water we drink, the clothes we wear, the air we breathe. Without his special providence, the air would be filled with pestilence and poison. He is a bountiful benefactor and preserver. The sun which shines upon the earth and glorifies all nature. The weird solemn radiance of the moon. The glories of the firmament spangled with brilliant stars. The precious things of nature in all their varied richness. The lofty trees, the shrubs and plants, the waving grain, the blue sky, the green earth, the changes of day and night. The renewing seasons all speak to man of his creator's love. He has linked us to himself by all these tokens in heaven and in earth. He watches over us with more tenderness than does a mother over an afflicted child. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Councils on Stewardship, page 17, paragraphs 1, 4. God is good. And all the time. I didn't hear you. Let's try that again. God is good. And all the time. Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for coming. Every night I see you, I'm delighted to see you. I think of you during the day, and I offer prayers for you. I thank God for sparing your lives to bring you to this And may the Lord bless you as abundantly as we know he will bless us in this place. I am about to ask a question. Do you know what that question is? You don't know. How many are with us tonight? You are not Seventh-day Adventists. Raise your hand. You are not a Seventh-day Adventist. Raise your hand. I know some of you are shy. You are very humble. And you don't want to raise your hand. If someone is like that, and the person is sitting next to you, just do that. Now, God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you very much. Anybody else, do that. Uh, okay. God bless you. Uh -huh. God bless you. Right. Where are ah, God bless you? Right. God yeah, bless yeah, you. Yeah, Where, yeah, are yeah. Yeah. Where are the rest? Where are the rest? Where are ah, God right. bless you? God bless yeah, you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Oh, what a what a beautiful night. Yeah. Exposing people. I am very happy. Let me pray for all the visitors. I include those of you online who are watching. If you are not a Seventh day Adventist, we want you to become Seventh day Adventists. Now let the church say amen. Say it again. God is good. And all the time. Yes, we want you to become Seventh-day Adventists. Let me pray for all the guests. Our loving Father in heaven, we thank you for the presence of our guests. We're so honored by their presence, dear God, and their presence also pleases you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, bless them individually. 
take care of them, provide their needs, wrap your arms around their children and protect them from harm and danger. Be a permanent guest in their home in the person of your spirit and may the angels protect them wherever they go and hasten the day when they will be one of us. In Jesus' name I pray, let all God's people say, Amen. amen. And amen. Come back tomorrow night. Those of you who visited tonight, I'm looking for you in that seat tomorrow night. I'm looking for you right in that seat tomorrow night. Right there, right where you are, I'm looking for you tomorrow night. Our subject for this evening, friends don't hurt friends. What did I say? This side always sounds louder than that side. Why is that? Well, I leave that alone. What did I give you as the title? Come on. This side still wins. Well, let me move on. But before I get into the message for tonight, if you have one of these and you're not using it, Please turn it off. Her presence. No. Mm -mm. Can you chat and play with your friends? No. You sit quietly. Because that judge can put you in prison. Now God is a nice judge. He doesn't put us in prison. But he tells us, if you can respect an earthly judge, ah, respect me. If you agree, say amen. All those in favor, say aye. All right. <laughs> favor number two, while we're speaking, pray for us. What will you pray and say? Lord, put your words in their mouth. Thank you very much. It came from that side. Lord, put your words in their mouths. This is a serious request. Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 9. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. I want God to do that for us. And for my sister. Favor number three. Show me. Think. Think. How many of you have been thinking every night? Can I see your hand? Most think, okay, okay. Now the sides look even. Okay, all right. Sides look. Think. Isaiah one eighteen. Come now, let us reason together. Let us pray. Father, I come for power today because the power you gave yesterday is gone. I come for wisdom today. I come for insight today. When I say today, God, I mean right now for my brother and for me and for my sister. Father, if I've offended you, forgive me. In place of my weakness day, God, grant me your strength. And your strength is in the person of your Holy Spirit. Father, suppress my carnal nature that my only desire is to glorify you by lifting up the truth. Put your words in my mouth, my brother's mouth, in my sister's mind and hands. Bless all those who are listening, Father. I ask you to pour out a sweet blessing on all our guests who are not Seventh-day Adventists. Touch them, Lord, very personally. Remember all the little boys and little girls watching. By listening tonight, someone's life may change, Father. Bless those who are sick. Touch them, dear God. Jesus healed everyone who came to him. When he was on this earth, touch the sick, heal those with COVID-19, remove this affliction, dear God, not only from individuals, but give the nation of Ghana victory over that plague and the nations represented by those listening. Father, bless the leaders of this country. As I say from night to night, remind them, dear God, that righteousness exalteth a nation. And I pray this for the leaders of every country 
represented by the listening audience, righteousness exalted the nation, not corruption. Now, dear God, use us, I pray, in Jesus' name, let all God's people say, Amen and Amen. John chapter 13, let's read from verse 16. Our subject, friends don't hurt friends. We will examine an incident that shows us how sweet and loving Jesus was. This is the Last Supper. If you look at John chapter 13, all the way to 17, it's really one continuous event. Christ and his disciples. In chapter 18 of John, Christ goes to Gethsemane. Yes, you know, I so these are the last couple of days before Jesus Christ and dies. Verse 16 of John 13. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord, neither he that is sent greater than he that sent him. If he know these things, happy are ye if ye do them. Let me pause on that verse. If ye know these things, happy are ye, or blessed are ye if ye do them. If you know thou shalt not steal, blessed are ye if ye do not steal. If you know, bring the tithe into the storehouse. Blessed are ye if you bring the tithe. If ye know the seventh day is the Sabbath. Blessed are ye if ye observe it. Jesus said, If ye know these things, blessed are ye if ye do them. Question for you, but don't answer me. What is it you know that you're not doing? And, and missing a blessing. You're in a relationship that's displeasing God. Break it off. If ye know these things, blessed are ye. If ye do them. But that's not my sermon for tonight. Let's go to verse 18. I speak not of you all. I know, I know whom I have chosen. But that the scripture may be fulfilled. He that eateth bread with me hath lifted up his heel against me. What does that verse mean? Someone close to me will betray me. Jesus drops a hint to one of the 12 disciples. Name that disciple. Judas, Jesus knows what's on Judas' mind. The other 11 do not know. Jesus says in verse 18, He that eateth bread with me, and they were at the Last Supper, hath lifted up his heel against me. He will betray me. Verse 19, And now I tell you before it come, that when it is come, you may believe that I am he. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that receiveth whomsoever I send, receiveth me. And he that receiveth me, receiveth him that sent me. And when Jesus had said this, he was troubled in spirit and, testif and testified and said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, one of you, 
will betray me. In verse 18, he says, Someone eating bread with me will betray me or lift up his heel against me. In verse 21, he says, One of you will betray me. Verse 22. Then his disciples looked one on another, doubting of whom he spake. Now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom. One of his disciples whom Jesus loved. Let me pause. John, who was the youngest of the twelve, he loved Jesus. He was leaning on the breast, the bosom of Jesus. Because he loved him. Nothing suspicious about that. Are you following me? If he had done that today, he may be arrested. John loved Jesus. And the Bible says he was leaning on his bosom. To lean on the bosom of Jesus, you've, get to, you've got to get close to Jesus. He was the only one leaning on the bosom of Jesus. Jesus did not tell the other 11, don't lean on my bosom. John chose to lean on the bosom of Jesus Christ. You choose to lean on the bosom of Jesus in all your trials, in all your tribulations, in all your good times. Lean on the bosom of Jesus Christ. Get close no matter what your family is doing no matter what the church is doing I say lean on the bosom of Jesus Christ somebody say amen and there was leaning on the bosom of Jesus one of his disciples whom Jesus loved verse 24 Simon Peter therefore beckoned to him Simon Peter that he, that he should ask who it should be of whom he spake. Peter was some distance off. And so he told John, ask Jesus. He could have asked Jesus himself. But John was so close. Peter said, ask him. Verse 25. Then he lying on Jesus' breast. Uh, there's a young friend of mine, and I wrote back and said, Have you spoken to Jesus today? It's a young girl. She said, No. I said, Go and talk to him and hug him. Give him a hug. She said, how? And I said, ah, saying, up here. Hug Jesus, I said. And I'm saying, for what getting? She wrote back. And I was saying, true I hugged him. Me hug him. And I feel better. Now, and my need to Right where you are. Maybe I want In your mind. I will wipe you. Wrap your arms around Jesus. I will suck. Yeah, you swear too. Not around me, around Jesus. Fight him, my Jesus. Hug him. You're not too. Hug him. You're not too. Put your head on his breast. Hug him. Then he lying on Jesus' breast. And I will not die Saith unto him, Master, who is it? And no, beside Jesus said, Jesus answered, He it is to whom I shall give a sop when I have dipped it. And when he had dipped the sop, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, the son of Judas Simon. Three times. Verse 18. He that eats bread with me has lifted up his heel against me. 
Verse 21. One of you shall betray me. Verse 26. The one to him I give the sop. He is trying to reach the heart of Judas. Now this is in John 13. A day before Jesus is crucified. Let's go to John chapter 6. That's a year and a half earlier. John chapter 6. Before we read, let me pray again. Holy Father, please let your spirit fill us, fill us, fill us. All three of us presenting this message. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. John 6, verse 17. Jesus said unto them, or to him, Have I not chosen you twelve? Finish the verse. Come on, finish the verse. Finish John 6, verse 70. Read it. Have I not chosen you twelve? Mm hmm. Nobody has John 6 verse 17. One of you is a devil. Do you see that in your Bible? John chapter 6 verse 70. Have I not chosen you 12? One of you is a devil. Do you see it now? My fault. One of you is a devil. Question for you. Maybe someone If Judas was a devil in John 6, how much of a devil is he now in John 13? Jesus was appealing to a devil. Go to Hebrews chapter 13. Read verse 8. Hebrews chapter 13. Read verse 8. It's a very well known verse. It begins Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Are you thinking? Right. Jesus, the same yesterday. Before he became a human being. Before the earth was made. Before angels created. Before Lucifer was made. Jesus was who he was. The same yesterday. Today. When he was on the earth. And tomorrow. Why am I saying that? The way he treated Judas. Senior. Whom he, Judas, you know, whom he called a devil our friend, Bonsamano, must have been the way he treated Lucifer when Lucifer rebelled. Because a devil is a devil is a devil. When the ultimate devil Satan rebelled against Christ Christ must have reached out and reached out and reached out to him. Now go to Revelation chapter 12. We'll read verse 9. Revelation 12, reading verse 9. I hope one of you have already said or has already said, Lord, put your words in their mouths. We, we need those prayers. Revelation 12, verse 7, I should say. I think I said 9. Verse 7. And there was war in heaven. Michael. Michael. That's Jesus. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Michael and above one. And the dragon fought and his angels. Now there's a war. Before the devil rebelled against Christ. He was Lucifer. He was created by Christ. He was the highest angel in heaven. He was the smartest. And the most beautiful. 
Go to Ezekiel chapter 28. Ezekiel 28. Let's read verse 12. This is a description of Lucifer. And the word Lucifer means a bearer of light. Ezekiel 28 verse 12. Thou sealest up the sum, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. What does that mean? The highest expression of wisdom and beauty in a created being was in Lucifer. Thou hast been in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardius, topaz, and the diamond. The beryl, the onyx, the jasper. The sapphire, the emerald, the carbuncle, and gold. The workmanship of, the, of thy tablets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Verse 14 says, Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth, and I have set thee so. This I have set this so is Jesus Christ speaking. Christ made him and put him closer to Christ than any other angel. He attacked Christ. He started a war. He was thrown out. He's the enemy of Christ. John 8, let's read verse 44. Our subject, friends don't hurt friends. John chapter 8, verse 44. Ye are of your father, the devil. And the lusts of your father ye you will do. Let me pause and read that again. And I want you to read it microscopically. Jesus is talking to members of the church. Mainly. Ye are of your father, the devil. Listen very carefully to your brother. Not every church member belongs to God. Church members said, crucify him. Not every church member belongs to God. Jesus, who died for the entire world, he looked at church members. He said, ye are of your father the devil. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning. The people were trying to kill Christ. This was one of the lusts or the desires of Satan to destroy Christ. What Christ is saying, you are a child of the devil. He tried to kill me. And you were trying to kill me. So you were his child. He was a murderer from the beginning. And abode not in the truth. When you deliberately turn your back on truth, you are not a child of God. Let me say it again. When you deliberately turn your back so on truth, you are the not a child of God. He abode not in the truth. Because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. Or he speaks his natural language. For he is a liar. And the father of it. When someone tells you Sunday is the Sabbath, that is a lie. And the, and the source of that lie is Satan. Let me say it again with loving boldness. 
When someone tells you Sunday is the Sabbath, that is a lie. And all lies have their origin in Satan. Satan is the enemy of Christ. Go back to Revelation 12 verse 9. Let's read from verse 7. Then we will get to 9. Our subject friends don't hurt friends I may go about 10 minutes over tonight is that okay is that alright thank you for being so kind Revelation 12 reading from verse 7 loving Father in heaven continue to be with us I pray please continue to be with us dear God in Jesus name Amen and there was war in heaven Michael and his angels Michael and then above four of fought against the dragon and woman name and the dragon fought and his angels and I'm going some so a power come on in a buff one about me we have two armies and until I was such a form you know one led by Christ back who Christ to the dear anymore called Michael I'm not Michael one led by Satan and I'm going to say to have some in the dear listen carefully what's in here two armies I said that for me you know led by Christ Christo dear Led by Satan. And a Satan, dear. Both armies were angels. I have to get this across to you. Both armies were angels. Now listen to verse 9. And the great dragon was cast out. Not all serpent called the devil and Satan. Which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth. And his angels were cast out with him. The enemy of Christ. And you told me Christ is your friend. He said it a few nights ago. And I made an appeal, all those who want to be the friend of Jesus by obeying him, all hands went out. Jesus is your friend. Satan is the enemy of Jesus. If you are a friend of Jesus, you have to be an enemy of Satan. I have to say it again. Here's Jesus. Yes, you need. Here's Satan. And I Satan here. Jesus is your friend. And I use you are down for. Satan has to be your enemy. And he say yes, you are down for the enemy. Because he is the enemy of Christ. If you say, well, no, or turn yes. Now, he came down with his angels. But in above for you now, but I see so. On this earth, therefore. And I saw so. See where For thousands of years. I don't want fear be brave. There have been evil spirits. I think I want money. I would be brave. On this earth. I was I see so. Led by. Man, the dear anymore. Talk to me. Led by Satan. There have been evil spirits on this earth. Led by Satan. Angels are powerful creatures. If you say above body a two for in Matthew chapter 28, there's no need to go there, it's okay. An angel came down to the tomb of Jesus. The Bible says there was an earthquake. One angel came down. Touched the earth. There was an earthquake. One angel. All the Roman guards fell as if they were dead. Angels are powerful when the angels came with Satan they brought all their power with them that's why no demon possessed person can free themselves someone has to intercede are you listening to me no demon possessed person can cast out the demon himself. You need the power of Jesus. So the world is full of evil spirits. They are the agents of Satan. But go to Genesis chapter 3. Genesis 3. Let's read from verse 1. Our subject, 
Friends don't hurt friends. Let's read from verse 1 of Genesis 3. We saw in John 13 how merciful Jesus is. He reached out to Judas. He reached out to Judas. He reached out a third time. And that's only what the Bible records. He must have reached out on other occasions. That's the way Jesus is. That's the way he is. Now, what book did I tell you? Was that Genesis 3? Genesis 3. Let's read from verse 1. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? Now that's the devil speaking through the serpent. That tells you immediately the power of the devil to get an animal to talk. Did God make a donkey talk? Yes or no? Yes. Did the devil make a snake talk? Yes. Yes. The devil has power. But he can only go so far. That serpent was an agent of the devil. That was the devil's first earthly agent. Now let's read verse 5. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. Not verse 5, sorry, verse 6. And when the woman saw that the tree was good for food. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. Not everything that's attractive is good. Talk to the men. Let me talk to the men. All right. Amen, men. Yes, let me talk to the men. You're looking for a wife? God invented beauty. Are you with me? me? Let that not be your first standard. Because beauty can change. An accident, sickness, beauty is gone. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. Don't make choices based on what appeals to your eye. Make choices based on what agrees with. Thus saith the Lord. Somebody say amen. Thus saith the Lord must be your standard. But let me leave that alone. When the woman saw that the tree was good for food. And that it was pleasant to the eyes. And a tree to be desired to make one wise. She took of the fruit thereof and did eat. And gave also unto her husband her. And he did eat. Question for you. When Eve took that fruit to her husband. Whom was she serving? Satan. Question for you now. Does Satan have human servants, yes or no? Yes. Now, all the previous part of the message bringing us to this part. Satan has human servants. Now, go to Deuteronomy chapter 18. Deuteronomy 18. Book number 5. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy. Chapter 18. We'll read from verse 9. God is speaking to the Israelites. Preparing them to enter Canaan land. And there are some things they must not do. 
When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. They're still in the wilderness. God is preparing them for Canaan. God has seen the customs and the traditions of the tribes in Canaan. And God warns the Israelites. Remember I told you several days ago. The first message in the Bible to a human being was a warning. But a warning is a message of love from God. And God said, when thou art come into the land, with the law thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. Now, here is a list of some of the abominations. Verse 10. They shall not be found among you. Any that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. No human sacrifice. Well, you may say, we don't do that in Ghana. How do you know that? In Tanzania, so through Tanzania and Burundi, and Burundi, and I am told in DRC, if you are, I don't know what the word is. You know what an albino is? Yes. So you're ufria. All right. Your life is in danger. Because apparently, which doctors? If you want money, you go to which doctor? And he said, What Pesica? Now I call Odria for her. And I said, He may tell you, Bring me the finger of an albino. No, I catch her, said, Fa. I just said it, I forgot it. Ufri and Satyabra. Or someone may say, Bring me a little baby that has no marks or no scars. And I said, Fabo Fra. And the person is sacrificed. It happens. And people go to witch doctors and take the body parts that they buy in order that the witch doctor may use that arm or that head or that heart to give that person prosperity. God says, they shall not be found among you. Any, not even one, that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire. No human sacrifice. Or that useth divination. You go to someone. And a person tells you, open your hand. The person reads your palm. Or the person has a glass ball. And the person rubs the ball and looks into it to tell you what will happen 10 years from now. God says, do not do that. Or an observer of times. People look into the heavens and try to read the constellations and tell you what will happen. Or an enchanter. You want to marry a man. You go to the witch doctor or somebody else. The person gives you some sort of root. And tells you, put that in his food. And he eats it. And all he knows is you. And or a witch. So God is giving a long list. We go to the next verse. Or a charmer. Or a consulter with familiar spirits. You go to somebody. You give them your hard-earned money. 
to talk to your dead grandfather. God says, don't do that. Or a necromancer. People who dig up the dead. For whatever reason. Or a wizard. Verse 12. For all that do these things are an abomination in the sight of the Lord. What does that have to do with friends don't hurt friends? When you go to people who practice those things and God said don't do them you are going to the earthly agents of Satan. You are going to the enemies of Christ and you call yourself a friend of Christ. You heard Jesus when you go to the witch doctor you heard Jesus when you go to a man you want him to tell you the future and he spread some bones on the ground or the insides of a cow and he reads them and tells you what will happen the Bible says the spirit of God will tell you things to come when we do these things we hurt Jesus because we're going to the agents of Satan and friends do not hurt friends look at verse 12 again for all that do these things are an abomination listen to me carefully any sin deliberately committed and not confessed can get you straight to hell lost but the Bible has sins then it has abomination ah, sin that's bad abomination how can I put it this way when we sin, God says, ah, he sinned. When you commit an abomination, God vomits. He spits. The abomination. The Bible says, those who go to witch doctors, those who talk to the dead, even though the dead know nothing. Those who go to astrologers to read the stars. All these things are abomination. And God spits. I can't be soft tonight because there are members of the church who do these things and where these things are practiced the full blessing of God cannot rest because God cannot bless the enemies of Christ when God came down to punish Adam and Eve and I won't get through this message tonight I may have to give you part two go to Genesis chapter 3 Genesis 3 our subject friends don't hurt friends the devil is not happy about this message so be sure to keep praying for us not because we're afraid but because more prayer, more power. Genesis chapter 3. We read from verse 22. Well, let's read from verse 21. Unto Adam, well, let me pray again. Father, as I continue, please, Lord, come closer to me and to my partners in Jesus' name. Amen. Listen carefully to verse 21. Un unto Adam also and to his wife. Let me pause on that. Salvation is a personal matter. It is first 
personal. It is not first a family matter. If it were first a family matter, God could have made a large coat and wrapped them both in one coat. He made two coats. One for you. One for you. Either one of them could have said no. Listen to me carefully. If your husband decides not to accept Jesus Christ, and the Spirit of God speaks to you, you accept Jesus Christ. If your wife does not accept Jesus Christ, and the Spirit of God speaks to you, my brother, you accept Jesus Christ. Unto Adam also and to his wife. Adam and in the, the other side of that is also correct. Go to verse 8 of Genesis 3. Uh, verse 7, verse 7 of Genesis 3. And the eyes of them both were opened. And they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. We had two aprons and two coats. Sin is an individual matter. Eve had her apron. Adam had his apron. Let's see how individual this is. Look at verse 9. And the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? Verse 10. And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. Sin. One is a personal choice. No one can force you to hurt God. God cannot force you to serve him. The devil cannot force you to serve him. You and I must make individual decisions. I hit myself, says Adam. Adam made his apron of leaves. Eve made her apron of leaves. God made a coat for Adam. God made a coat for Eve. It's individual. First, make individual decisions during this week. To be baptized. Even if your best friend does not. Unto Adam also. Adam also. And to his wife. Did the Lord God make coats of skins? And clothe them. Now listen to verse 22. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us. To know good and evil. And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life. And eat and live forever. What is God saying? Before this man who has now sinned, goes to that tree and eats that fruit and lives forever as a sinner we have to present prevent that so God said let's put him out so he cannot get to the tree verse 23 therefore the Lord God sent him forth from the garden of Eden to till the, till the ground from whence he was taken so he drove out the man and placed at the east of the garden of Eden cherubims those are powerful angels. And a flaming sword. Which turned every way. To keep the way of the tree of life. God is saying. A sinner. Must not live forever. Are you, are you following the Bible? A sinner. Must not live forever. So block the tree of life. Any church that tells you Sorry, dead people are not dead are giving you a doctrine of the devil. 
God teaches us in Genesis 3. I do not want sinners living forever. That's why Christ came to make us saints. Through his sacrifice. If we accept it. It is a satanic doctrine. That many churches preach. That when you die, you're not really dead. That's why someone can talk to your grandfather. And and someone can talk to your grandmother. There are churches that preach. Sinners will burn forever in hell. God teaches us in Genesis 3. No sinner must, must live forever. So when some Paul, someone tells you, bring me money. I'll talk to your wife who passed away. I will ask her, how is it on the other side? God's teaching is, dead people are dead. They do not live in a different state it has some spirits floating somewhere. When that person speaks to somebody, and you think it's your mother. The person is speaking to one of the evil angels that followed Satan from heaven. Are you listening to me? Those who claim to speak to the dead are speaking to evil angels. Because the Bible says the dead know nothing. If the Bible said you will warn them some of the church members you practice these things I want you and I'm speaking for Christ I want you to stop some of you may have carried in your purse a little charm that somebody gave you some witch doctor or some wizard or some sangoma and told you carry this in your purse and you'll be protected from harm and danger get rid of it you may as well get rid of the purse as well get rid of it someone may have given you some dust to sprinkle around your house scrape it up get rid of it Someone may have cut your child. Put something in the child. Take that child to God and confess. That God may cancel that satanic activity. Stop hurting Jesus Christ. Listen to John 16 verse uh, 13. How be it when he the spirit of truth has come. He will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself. But whatsoever he shall hear. That shall he speak. And he will show you things to come. Not the witch doctor. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 Jeremiah 33 verse 3 Call unto me and I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not you want to know what direction to take? Psalm 32 verse 8. I will instruct thee and teach thee. In the way which thou shalt go. You're not sure which direction to go. You pray to God. Psalm 25. Verse 4. Show me thy ways, O Lord. Teach me thy path. Lead me in thy truth. Do not go to which doctors or any of those related activities. It is an abomination in the sight of God. Wherever you're listening, 
This sort of thing is rampant on the African continent. But it exists in Western countries in a different way. Are you following me? Because the devil is busy everywhere. When you do these things, and I'm closing, you hurt Jesus Christ. The devil can do things for you. He put, let, oh, time is running out. Remember Job? Job was covered with sores. Boils. The devil put them on him. In Luke chapter 13, there was a woman who was bent over. She had been like that 18 years. Jesus said, Satan had her like that. Now she was not demon possessed. But Satan had her like that. When Job was covered with boils. And the devil allowed him to do that to Job. Sorry, God allowed the devil to do that. Job was not demon possessed. But he was afflicted by the devil. With God's permission. The devil can put a sickness on you. Which means he can also take it off. So when you run to churches to get a miracle, you have to be careful who is performing this miracle. Because Satan can perform miracles. But the miracle Jesus performs for you blesses you in this life and in the life to come. Whatever Satan does for you is just for a short time and it is for your destruction. Friends do not hurt friends. How many of you are friends of Jesus? Come on, can I see your hand? Stand up with me. Friends do not hurt friends. Listen to Romans chapter 13, verse 10. Roman 40, do me a Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Love does not hurt the neighbor or the friend. Jesus does not hurt people. He helps them. When we go to witch doctors and whatever else, that's not love. Because it hurts Jesus. A love does not hurt. Friends do not hurt friends. I have decided not to make an appeal. For you to move. I'll make an appeal. But not for you to move. I don't want to embarrass anyone. Let me speak to parents. If anyone listening to me has taken your child to a witch doctor and the witch doctor has cut your child or done anything to your child, the child could not say no. Repent of that crime to God. Commit that child to God. If you've done that to your child, I say again, repent of that crime. And if you're close by, bring that child so we can pray for that child. Because children are helpless. In all my years of preaching, I run into young people a young adult. When I was a child, child to a witch doctor. The witch doctor has done anything to that child. Just by taking the child, you've taken the child into a negative influence. Confess it to God, and God will forgive you. If you feel moved, bring the child. Some night we'll pray for the child. I'm speaking to those in person and those online. Think before you answer. Father in heaven, give your children the right words to respond, I pray. In Jesus' name, amen. Those of you who will say, Father, 
with your help, your daily help, your moment by moment help, I will not hurt Jesus by engaging in those practices. Let me see your right hand. Keep them up. I will not engage in those practices. Because, because you're playing with the devil. If you said hands down. Let's pray. Before I pray, let me ask this. Is there anyone listening? You're present. You feel you're being oppressed by the devil. If you think that's the case, come. You think you're being oppressed by the devil. Something comes to you during the night and squeezes your neck and you cannot get up or you whatever. If that's happening to you, line. If it's not happening, praise God. God. If you think you are oppressed by the devil, come right here. Let's pray. Right here. For those of you online, you may answer the call. You believe you are oppressed by the devil. Come. There are too many churchmen who are oppressed by the devil. Come. I'll wait a couple of minutes for you. Come. You Bra. believe you are oppressed by the devil. We open our lives. Come. Come. God a do bread to say, not a cheer to me, no is sunny. Now, one meow and near ma, now one mabble and some crime and a dinkunim. But who ba Jesus Mojan obey Yerjuma, one crook to me, no obey Yerjuma, who be not a cheer. Now, what your Nijia and your Kaho sign, I send your meal, you yum. Name betu, Jitisa, say yummy to me, waha, and I do obey your bill, and untibra, and Pharaoh will be a yes, waha, one crook to me, no waha, and none I do your watch ye, and untibra. The, the music you listen to can open your life to Satan. The videos you watch can open your life to Satan. The things you read can open your life to Satan. Satan doesn't need a door that's that wide. He needs only a little opening. My appeal is this. If you feel you are oppressed by the devil, come, come. We'll pray. We'll pray. Let me pray for you. So how oh, it is, sir? The beer we are importing will fear, and I will hear television as original. Ho, said the bear and pie are here, bono. Unyami to me, a bear here to me. Now we swear now, Oji. Now we shall. We have some else coming. Come, come right. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Little children can be possessed by the devil. Kadanke tuwa, bonsambi to me afau. Let me tell you what happened to me in a certain country. I won't name the country. I went to that country to conduct an evangelistic series. And a mother had a little girl in her arm. Everyone who approached the mother, the baby kept quiet. When I approached, the baby started to scream and kick in the mother's arms. When I backed off, the kicking stopped. And I came again, started kicking. And I told the mother, this child is demon possessed. The mother placed the child on the ground. The child took off running. They had to run behind that child. Bring the child back. Hold the child down as we prayed. I was in the same country on another occasion. And he said, We need you to pray for a little girl. A, a young girl, a young girl, 16, 17. I said, Where is she? She's in the pastor's office. So myself and another elder, we went to the pastor's office. And as, as we were approaching the pastor's office, she saw us. 
and the spirit reacted and she broke from those who were holding her and she ran down the tire and all the deacons ran and behind her and they had to hold her down and they brought her back and we prayed and we prayed it was a Friday night next day she came to church and they brought her to the pastor's office. And they said, Elder Skeet, do you know who this is? And I said, I said, no. Because I didn't. This is the one we prayed for last week. The spirit was gone. And her face had changed. I'll call one more time. You believe, no, we're not, a, 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 um, what do you call that word? Exorcist. We're not exorcists. I'm simply saying, Debbie. God has power. Are you following me? The work of Jesus is yes. to this. To me, they say. Let me read a verse for you. He that committeth sin is of the devil. The person who practices sin. For the devil sinned from the beginning. Now listen to these beautiful words. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Jesus came to destroy what the devil is doing in your life. And most times he does it with our permission. Is there anyone else who needs to come? I am being oppressed by the devil. Does anyone else need to come? I'm I'm talking to you online as well. Or in your house, wherever you are. Heads bowed, eyes closed. Would you join me, Pastor Lambert? Just join me. Us. Kneel where you are. Kneel. Everybody kneel. Our Father in heaven, we come into your presence in the name of Jesus. Father, that name has power. That name expresses divinity, perfect humanity. That name belongs to someone equal with yourself. That name belongs to the one who said, I am the resurrection and the life. We come in the name of Jesus Christ, who conquered Satan, sin, hell, the death, and the grave. If we've sinned against you today, God, forgive us, Father, forgive us. And in the name of Jesus, I present to you today, God, these men, these women, these boys and girls who've come to say, we believe we are oppressed by the enemy. Father, the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ is the basis on which everyone can be delivered from Satan's power. I remind you, they God, of your words in 1 John chapter 3, verse 8. The Son of Man or the Son of God was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. In the name of Jesus, dear God, whatever the devil is doing in the lives of your people, destroy that work. Begin that destruction tonight. Revelation 12 verse 9 says, And the great dragon was cast out. As you cast him out of heaven, cast him out of the lives of your people as they recommit those lives to you. Father, it is written, he cast out the spirits with his word. And Father, I ask you to stand by your word and deliver your people, dear God. Your word says, or else, how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. Bind the devil, tie him up, dear God, and release your people who have been enslaved by him. Begin that work, dear God, that they may walk away free, released, and liberated to serve you. For those watching online, do the same for them, dear God. Open the eyes of your people, dear God, that they may understand when they engage in these practices, they are the enemies of Christ. Let's come to you for all our needs, large and small. 
We thank you for the power of your word. We ask you one more time, deliver your people from the grasp of the enemy, I pray, with thanksgiving. In Jesus' name, let God's people say, Amen and Amen. God bless you. Come back tomorrow. Beautiful words, wonderful words of life. We want to thank God for how far you have brought us. Father, we know that your presence is still with your children. The names are still on your screens. If you want to baptize this Wednesday, there will be baptism right after the service. So you can call the numbers to register your name for this Wednesday's baptism. We know there are a lot of people listening on the various sites, POV Radio at Hohoi. Thank you so much for taking this feed. Same time tomorrow, we'll be seated at exactly 6 o'clock p.m. 
At 6.30, we'll be live on your screens. God be with you. Stay blessed and good night. The person who does not feel a need for prayer really does not feel the need for God. Sin brought fear. Disobedience brought fear. How do we get out of that fear? Obedience to God. The person who does not Genesis 6, we'll read touched, inspired, and blessed by this message and want further Bible studies or want to be baptized, please send a WhatsApp or text message to 055 96 66 Alternatively, you can send an email to hopetvghana at gmail.com or call 0302 959065. God bless you and keep watching Hope Channel, your preferred Christian channel.